Fellas, today I'm going to be showing you how to mod GameCube games onto your Nintendo Switch. That being said, let's get right into the video. So, first things first guys, if you don't already have a modded Switch, which is required for this video, be sure to click on the annotation up top. It'll go to a video on how to mod your Switch. Then once you're done, catch up with me at this video, okay? Perfect. Alright, so first things first, let's go to the desktop. And from here, what we're going to want to do is we're going to open up our browser and go to this website, laka.tv. I will leave the link in the description below so you guys can have access to it. We're just going to want to click download Laka from here. Close out of the stupid ads. There you go. Perfect. It should now be downloading. Let's wait on that from here. Once it's done downloading, let's open it up. I have it opened up right here. And we're going to want to go to open up our SD card. So let me do that real quick. Okay, guys, now that we have Laka open and our SD card, what we're going to want to do from here is drag these two folders and put them into our SD card as such. So let's do that right now. Take a little second to do that. Just got to process. All right, guys, now that I've finished installing, let's go into the Laka folder, go into storage real quick, and you'll notice it's empty. What we're gonna have to do now is make a ROMs folder so it's pretty easy to access to and you can access it when you log into your Switch. So let's make a new folder, call it ROMs, whatever you want. Listen, let's do ROMs folder. From here, you're gonna wanna click on it and this is where you're gonna get your ROMs. I obviously don't know where to get ROMs for GameCube games so you are on your own for that. All right, guys. Now that we're done installing our Laka into our Switch, what we're gonna wanna do is right click Switch SD, click on Eject, and from here, I'll meet you at the Switch. All right guys, so from here, I'm gonna show off my Switch because you wanna be in the Hikate menu right here. We got Hikate right here. You're gonna wanna click on More Configs right here. Okay. On it, and then there should be Laka right there. Give that a tap launch on up all right guys so now that we're inside of laka here's what so if you are at the main menu go to cpu overclock and you can maximum overdrive maximum performance uh your switch as long as it's plugged into the outlet and is in dock so be sure it has to be in dock and plugged into an outlet if you want to get the max performance. If not, I wouldn't overclock it. It might run a little slow if it's not overclocked, but it's better than risking your switch, and the battery definitely cannot handle that level of heat or uh, energy required to run the switch, so bear that in mind. You can do that for both. And guys, one last setting you want to do before you get started with modding uh, your GameCube games on your switch, you're going to want to go to settings, video. I don't know why this isn't a setting around. Go to output. Make it Vulcan, kind of like we did in our tutorial for modding games on Yuzu on your PC. I don't know why it's not set to Vulcan already. Should be set to Vulcan. Your games will run smoothly if it's set on Vulcan. Please do the setting. From here, guys, now that we got all our settings set up, go back to the main menu. Give it a read real quick, just to be sure uh, you have all of your settings saved. All right, guys, from here, where you're going to want to do, down to content want to go directory directory look for your roms that's roms click on that want to run your iso once you get your iso selected you're going to scroll down to nintendo gamecube slash wii dolphin click on that All right, guys, so that's how you run GameCube games on your Nintendo Switch. Leave a suggestion in the comments below on what topic I should cover next for Switch modding. Thank you guys for staying tuned, and I'll see you in the next one.